my dad grew up in New York, um, and when he was 13 years old in 1927, um, he discovered Broadway. And one of the first shows he went to see <clears throat> was a show called Dracula, starring none other than Bela Lugosi. I am Dracula. With all this, I, I thought I was in the wrong place. I bid you welcome. It was a kind of a competition between uh, uh, Karloff and, and uh, Bela Lugosi. Uh, not that they were aware of it, that they masterminded or deliberately contrived. That was marvelous Hollywood hype. Um, it, uh, that there was this rivalry between the two actors, um, and it it sold movie tickets, uh, and it 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 worked. And why not? And the two people most important to that story knew differently. You know, as far as I could see, they got along well together. I think they respected each other, and they had a right to. And white zombie is still, as I, I often feel, as scary today for me as it was when I eventually saw it back in England. It's, it, he sets such a mood, and of course there are marvelous close-ups of his eyes, and the grasping of the hands, which that's the cue for all the zombies to come down the hillside staring ahead. Really, still frightening to me. Now. Bela Lugosi is actually a greater legend than he ever was in his lifetime. That whole new generations of young people who are seeing his pictures enjoy his performances and love him and read the horror magazines about him and are so interested in his activities, whereas Hollywood virtually forgot him.